Catherine McLean and welcome to IP Go, the show where we take a look at the IPO world, past, present and future. Today we're going to take a look at a recently IPO'd company that is putting meat on the bone in its revolutionary industry. Its books have been grilled and there's no need to plant any stories. The IPO was a success, so this company is definitely not a nothing burger. Enough with the bad puns. Can you guess which company I'm talking about yet? That's right, Beyond Meat, the LA-based producer of plant-based meat substitutes that was founded in 2009 by Ethan Brown. The firm has had products on the market since 2013, which are designed to simulate chicken and beef burgers. Backed by the lights of Bill Gates and supported by Whole Foods in its early days, the firm operates in a growing niche market that looks set to continue expanding as issues such as environmentalism, health and animal rights become ever more prominent globally. The company claims to have 27,000 distribution points across the US, demonstrating nationwide demand and has started to roll out its products internationally as well. Recent tie-ups with the likes of McDonald's and KFC have impressed the market and sent a strong single to rivals that Beyond Meat is not ready to let its rivals muscle in on their progress. In terms of market capitalization, the firm is valued at just below $5 billion. The firm IPO'd at $45 and is currently trading around the $80 level, having taken a detour to the dizzying heights of $239 in July this year. Its Q3 earnings beat expectations and the firm raised its revenue outlook after turning its first profit. It now expects revenue around the $265 million level, up from $240 million previously. The company also expects adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization of $20 million for fiscal 2019. However, shortly after this strong earnings report, the share price tumbled. So what gives? Well, the last time that Beyond Meat announced earnings, it followed through with news about a surprise secondary market offering, which sent prices collapsing. This time around, the ending of the lockup period from the firm's IPO was scheduled for just a few days after earnings, meaning that insiders would be able to cash out their shares. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the technicals. We can see that price is trading flatter with lower bearish volume as we head into the same price range that the stock rallied from earlier this year. This could be an indication of strength coming back into the market. Volatility bands are converging into the lows after an expansionary period, suggesting a change of trend may be possible. Momentum is in oversold territory and range bound with a slight upward bias. From what we can see, this is a firm on the up, making all the right moves, but facing a lot of competition in a pioneering sector. Well worth a look in our opinion, but do your due diligence before making any investment decisions. That's all we have time for for this week. See you next time.